And like I said before the weather, I'm joined by Adrian from A Basin. How are you? Good morning. Good. Really good. Really good. So <laughs> tell me a little bit about what's going on over at A Basin. Yeah, I mean, you mentioned the snow, and January's been just outstanding. Um, to put it in perspective a little bit, on average, we receive around 45 inches of snow in January. Okay. We have over 90 Whoa. this year. Yeah, awesome. it's crazy. So we're um, over 200 inches for the year so far. Kind of interested to see. I know the forecast is pretty sunny for the next few days, but interested to see if we can break 100 inches uh, mm -hmm. for the month of January. So We still have a few more days. Yes. A week, I think. A week, Maybe yeah. About fingers a week. crossed. Yeah. Who knows? I think it's supposed to snow next <laughs> week, so you'll make it. <laughs> yeah, that would be super cool. And, and <laughs> You know, with all that snow, it just means that the terrain is in incredible. The east wall is ski and fat. I mean, that usually doesn't open until end of February. And awesome. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's cool terrain, 100% open, and really, we couldn't be more stoked. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, so we have some really great snow. I'm, I like A-Basin, too, because I hope that the snow continues through the entire season because <laughs> you guys always have a closing date and then, well, you might close a little bit later yeah. if the snow continues. So I'm hoping that it keeps <laughs> going for the whole season. <laughs> well, I've been saying, you know, um, that, that day that we were closed due to CDOT closing the road that we needed July 4th makeup day. Yeah. So <laughs> we're, we're kind of hoping that's going to happen this year. It'd be really cool. Awesome. So we talked a little bit about the snow and the open terrain. Um, but tell me more about, you guys have some kids programs. There's a lot going on over at A-Basin. Yeah, there is. You know, I, I talk a lot about the East Wall, and we showed some shots of our Montezumable steep terrain. But I think one of the best things about A-Basin is that we have such an amazing kids ski and ride program. Mm -hmm. um, we have these fun-loving, dedicated instructors, uh, very cool supervisors, and, and highly trained instructors as well. And we're starting Kids Club Arapaho and Extreme Teen and Little Kids Club Session 2, uh, second week of February, and there's still time to sign up. These are full or half-day programs, depending on how old your child is. Full-day programs come with lunch, and it's a great way to get them exposed to the mountain. Um, in a way that's really fun and really consistent. They have the same instructor every week. It's a four week session. And the kids explore the terrain at their own pace. Um, that's that's kind of what I love about it. Mm -hmm. And we ride the lifts with the three year olds. With oh. the young ones, there's always an adult with them. So <laughs> they're always taken care of. And I have to tell you some of the best conversations I have on the mountain are with the little guys in kids club. <laughs> so I'm, I'm hoping that um, parents who are around and interested in really getting their kids to be rippers will send them our way. And the little three-year-olds too, they're like little bobbleheads with their helmets, they're so cute. <laughs> I love them, the penguins. They do their little penguin walk in their, in their layers like they would today uh, as it's a little cold, but they're pretty resilient. So it's, it's nice having those guys around, it's, it's really fun. Cool, so you said that the kids program is starting up again in February mm -hmm. and you have a lot going on. And Fe February's right around the corner, which is incredible. What else is going on in February? Yeah, I mean, February starts and the basin doesn't stop till <laughs> June or July, we'll find out. Um, we have our b first big fundraiser of the year, and that's the Beacon Bowl on February 4th. Okay. It's a fundraiser for the Colorado Avalanche Information Center. Um, for you backcountry skiers, you guys know them. You're checking their avalanche forecasts every day uh, on the website. But for the rest of you who may not be too familiar, um, they're a state-funded organization, and they're actually the guys and gals that help CDOT forecast avalanches along the highways. So even if you're not reading their backcountry forecasts or um, using them for snow safety, they're helping you every day in ways that you may not have imagined. And uh, we, love, we love helping these guys out. We have a beacon competition. Um, so if you are a backcountry skier or you're a ski patrol professional, Tony C. from Arapahoe Basin Ski Patrol invites you to come test your skills against our patrollers uh, in a beacon search competition. And then starting at 4 p.m., we'll have our apres party. And you know a basin party is like nobody they else. They sure do. <laughs> so cool. That yeah. sounds like a really great event. Um, helping out CAIC, that's really important. Um, I know that here it's just so important to know yeah. what's going on with avalanches and things like that. Um, but Adrian, thank you so much for joining us this morning. If somebody thank wants to you. find out more about A Basin, because there's a lot going on, like <laughs> you said, and you said from February till the end of the season, there's yes. going to be a lot. How can people find out more? Uh, for everything you need, discounted lift tickets, lessons, you want to hear when our free live music is, just go to ArapahoeBasin.com.
Perfect. Well, Adrian, like I said, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you guys for watching Summit Sunrise. You definitely want to head on over to A-Basin. It's one of my favorite places to go skiing. It is so much fun. And like Adrian <laughs> said, they party afterwards. So the opera <laughs> is even just as fun as the day on the slopes. Um, we're going to take a short break, but we still have a ton of Summit Sunrise in store for you. Leah is live over at Summit Mountain Rentals in Breckenridge. So we'll be back with her. Um, we also have our watch and win coming up a little bit later on in the show. It's brought to you by Summit Mountain Rentals. It's a Summit Survival Kit. Um, if you are 21 or older, you can play to win a little bit later on. Uh, there's a bottle of wine, some wine glasses, um, water bottles, sunscreen. There's a whole bunch of goodies in there. Ooh. So we'll be giving that away a little bit <laughs> later on. But we're going to take a short break and we will be right back.